Hello there. This dish you see right on your screen is so good. It's probably like one of the best rice dishes I've ever had. My mom made a bunch of Lion King rolls and other sushi rolls for my friends. And then we delivered the food to a socially distant sushi party. They all loved it so much, especially the Lion King rolls. After my mom cooked so much sushi, there were some leftover ingredients. And so she made, like she does, this amazing dish. She calls it the Lion King casserole. Basically, it's almost the same ingredients as the Lion King roll in the dish. Let's watch how this wonderful dish can be made. Also, if you watch this video all the way through, you will learn how to separate the skin and flesh of a salmon. Stay tuned. Let's start. Now, for this dish, you're going to need to prepare chopped green onions, chopped hot spicy pepper, chopped mushrooms, instead of avocado. All the avocado's gone, but we had some mushrooms. Actually, this was a pretty good idea for the dish. Also, I personally love mushrooms. And tobiko. My mom got so much tobiko, so there was so much left over. Eventually, more tobiko made this dish even more yummy. And salmon. You can use it fresh or frozen, my mom cut the salmon and saved some leftover in the freezer. So this time she used frozen salmon. You can use any type. And, last but not least, the spicy mayo and sweet soy glaze. You can check out these sauces in the spicy avocado Lion King roll video. The link is in the description. And prepare some crushed dry roasted seaweed snacks. Put it in the plastic bag and crush it like so. Now, all the ingredients are ready. Get a casserole dish. First, put in some sesame seed oil to oil up the pan. Roll it around like so to cover it all up. Put in the rice. This is leftover cold rice. Don't worry, this is just fine to cook the dish. You can use any kind of rice also. Just place down the rice like so. Now add tobiko. Lots of tobiko, my favorite. Now, add salmon over the top of the tobacco. Now, add some chopped hot spicy pepper. My mom said that this chopped spicy pepper makes this dish super delicious. Now, add chopped mushrooms. Green onions. and a spicy mayo and sweet soy glaze. And more to be go. Now it's ready to bake. Bake for 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven. Now it's done. Take it out of the casserole dish and put it in a bowl. Then Add your roasted seaweed snacks and some sesame seeds. Mix it all up and you have got yourself a splendid Lion King casserole. This was so good. I had two bowls and the rest of the casserole dish. My mom kept on telling me while I was eating this, chun chun mogura. It means eat slowly. You should try this dish. In my opinion, it's like five-star restaurant food. Now, as a bonus, let's learn how to skin the salmon so that you can just have the flesh. At the edge, put the knife in between that area between the, the skin and the flesh and just start cutting along there and grab the edge so that you don't miss a cut. And just slowly cut off the skin like so. You just keep on getting under. And we're almost done. And bam, we've taken off the skin. Wait, hold your horses. 
Do you know how good fish skin is? It has a lot of nutrition, and it's especially good for skin. My mom wants to share a YouTube channel named Beloved and Free, and her recipe video about fish skin. You can check out the link in the description below. Go check out about fish skin and how to cook if you want to have a beautiful skin. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot. Have fun cooking. Bye!